So now that we know what the various time domain specifications of a control system are, let's now dig a bit more deeper into the various time domain specifications of a control system. My name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering community. I'm making it easy for you. So the first time domain specification, let us see what you refer to as the rise time of a particular control system. So now we saw for a fact that rise time is the amount of time that is taken by a control system to reach from 0% to a hundred percent of its value. So if this is the hundred percent value, the response diagram of a control system would look somewhat like this. So here, this much amount of time is simply what you refer to as the rise time in the case of a control system. That is the amount of time taken by a control system to reach from 0% to 100%. So this is the case of an underdam control system. So in the case of an overdam control system, it is from 10% to 90%. In the case of a critically damned control system, it is from 5% to 95%. So here we are considering an underdamped control system where the rise time is the amount of time that is taken by a control system to reach from 0% to 100% of its value. So here, let the response of this particular control system at 100% be taken as C of TR, where TR is a rise time. So C of TR. So now let us assume the value of this at the rise time at 100% is equal to 1 because at the rise time it is a hundred percent. So let C of TR be equal to 1 in the case of an underdamped control system. But we know for a fact that the time response of an underdamped control system is given by the equation C of T is equal to 1 minus E raised to minus zeta omega in T divided by root of 1 minus zeta squared into sine omega D TR plus phi. So now let this be equal to 1. So at the rise time C of TR is equal to 1. So now if this is equal to 1 then what we observe is that this 1 and this 1 gets cancelled. So here 1 and 1 gets cancelled. So therefore it is 0 here. So because it is 0 here this entire term also gets cancelled. So we would now get this as sine omega d tr plus 5 is equal to 0. But, 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 we know for a fact that sine pi is equal to 0. So therefore, these two can be equated. That is sine of omega d tr plus 5 is equal to sine pi. So therefore, omega d tr plus phi is equal to pi. So therefore, omega d tr is equal to pi minus phi. So therefore, the rise time tr is equal to pi minus phi divided by omega d. But we know for a fact that omega d is equal to omega n into root of 1 minus zeta square. Let us substitute this over here we would now get the rise time tr is equal to pi minus phi divided by omega n into root of 1 minus zeta squared. This is the required expression for the rise time in the case of an underdamped control system. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. As simple as that. Where here phi is given as phi is equal to tan inverse root of 1 minus zeta squared divided by zeta. This thus is a simple expression of the rise time in the case of an underdamped control system. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as the rise time of a control system. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.